Hi there and welcome back to Valley Por Vida. Well, one of the negative effects of COVID-19 has been a decrease in primary care uh, doctor visits as some people have sought to reduce face-to-face -face interactions. And that compounds the fact that the number of Americans with a primary care physician, uh, it continues to decline with 25% of people lacking this type of ongoing relationship. Reversing that trend is important to given people with a primary care physician are more likely to receive high value care services and and report better care access compared to individuals without a PCP. Now, our team spoke with United Healthcare Chief Medical Officer Dr. Ken Adams to learn more. Take a look. Primary care is really the bedrock of our nation's healthcare system. It's long considered a first source for medical care, and your primary care physician represents a key resource to help provide various types of care, including preventing illness, detecting illnesses and diseases as early as possible. We know that primary care provides, providers may help to more conveniently and affordably meet people's day-to-day -day healthcare needs, including annual checkups, preventative screenings, routine care, and chronic condition management. And typically, primary care providers act as a principal point of care for people as they navigate the healthcare system. They help identify risk factors for diseases, they manage chronic disease care for longevity and better quality of life, and they coordinate with other care specialists. And most importantly, research shows that strengthening primary care bonds contributes to improved access to healthcare services, better health outcomes, and a decrease in hospitalization and use of emergency departments. Variations in quality and cost of health care are a significant challenge for many people and the healthcare system broadly. And in large part, it's because many individuals may be unaware of how to appropriately identify and evaluate quality care providers. You know, as a starting point, people can compare publicly available online patient reviews from Yelp or Google, but you need to take those with a little bit of grain of salt. For a more detailed analysis, though, some health plans offer online search capabilities that denote high performing care providers as determined by national standardized measures for quality and local geographic area benchmarks for cost efficiency. So you're not really depending on someone's personality or just whether they were in a bad mood that day that they put their Google review up. More broadly, some health plans and hospitals provide available cost information online, including actual contracted rates for hundreds of shoppable medical services. This enables people to compare quality and cost information and can contribute to physical and financial health. So when it comes to evaluating the right setting for care, a doctor's office is not always the only way to access in-person care. For instance, people enrolled in United Healthcare's Medicare Advantage plans may have access to something we call house calls, which provides an annual in-home health and wellness visits from the convenience and privacy of your own home. Technology continues to reshape how we all live, including how people access healthcare. In fact, smartphones and desktop computers are making it possible for some people to access care virtually. Local physicians are increasingly adopting this technology to quote unquote, see patients. This is especially important amid COVID-19 as many people continue to avoid face-to-face -face interactions when possible. Importantly, we've seen a more than tenfold increase in the use of virtual care since the emergence of COVID-19, including urgent, preventative, and chronic condition management. And a lot of people say that when they visit their doctor virtually, they report no difference in the quality of the visit compared to an in-person appointment. And you don't have to pay for parking and you don't have to wait in the doctor's office and you don't have to drive your car someplace and worry about commute times. The virtual experience is really great. People can check with their health plan or local care providers to determine what types of virtual resources may be available, ranging from urgent care, remote patient monitoring programs, and even teledentistry and telehearing resources. In general, accessing medical services virtually is much more cost effective than other settings such as urgent care or the emergency room. Virtual care appointments may uh, be even more affordable in some cases with little or no cost sharing for consumers. Given the improved convenience and affordability, we expect virtual care to become increasingly popular and this technology represents an important way to help more Americans establish or reestablish a relationship with healthcare professionals.
Well, given the improved convenience and affordability, uh, we can expect virtual care to become increasingly popular. And this technology, it really represents an important way to help Americans establish or reestablish a relationship with healthcare professionals. Of course, if you'd like more information on how the team of professionals at United Healthcare can help you, then you can always visit uh.com. Well, there's always a topic, celebration, or theme to honor, and today is no different. So let's go ahead and take a look at some right now. According to the National Day's calendar, April the 15th marks National Banana Day, National Tax Day, National Get to Know Your Customers Day, National Take a Wild Guess Day, and National High Five Day. Now this is your chance to try adding a ripe banana to your morning breakfast to start off the day with plenty of potassium. It's also a great day to get that last minute filing completed uh, for tax day, even with the extension. And if you're a business owner or a manager, then take some time to show appreciation for your customers, especially those who support your work on a daily basis. Ask for someone's name, say hello and thank you to them uh, and thank them of course for dropping by. April the 15th also marks Take a Wild Guess Day, which is all about taking non-educated guesses at things like how many jelly beans are in a jar or how many ridges are on a penny. There are so many great ways to celebrate and that one, uh, to celebrate that one rather. And don't forget, of course, to give someone a high five if they help you guess correctly or just say hello. Be sure to stick with our team uh, for more on the National Day's calendar throughout the week. Well, the Rio Grande Valley is home to many bright young minds, and these students are dedicated to learning all that they can in school, getting a good job, and using their talents to, uh, to, help, to get a career and help others in our RGV community. One student from the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley is particularly excited to share uh, with others his, uh, it, his ideas about the importance of following your own dreams and earning that degree. Go ahead and take a look at today's Student Spotlight segment. All right, so my name is Luis Maya. I am 24 years old. I'm here from the Valley, from Brunswick, Texas, and I'm a student at UTRGV. I'm currently a junior and I'm studying uh, theater. I'm majoring in theater with a minor in mass communications. I'm studying theater so that I can, it, it can actually help me on my future career to pursue a career in Hollywood. I would like to pursue uh, an acting career, a modeling career, a dancing career. So theater with, alongside with mass communication will help me a lot to prepare and get the knowledge as far as how the industry will be uh, working in the future. So my plan after graduation is to maybe move to an outlet in Georgia. I know that there's a lot of opportunities over there for acting, so I would like to maybe move over there to try it out to see how it goes. And then at the same time, hopefully with my, uh, with my degree, I would like to also work on a TV station, uh, something that I've always loved to do. So uh, with that degree, hopefully it can prepare me for the future as well. To be honest, I would like to help out people to inspire people. I know that um, sometimes through life, we go through life uh, situations, but I, like to, I would like to tell all of those people that no matter what, you always have to uh, be positive, always have a good mindset, never give up on yourself, and no matter what, everything is possible in life. So yes, yeah, so I would like to tell people that whatever dream they would like to pursue, for them not to give up. Um, for the education, no matter what, there's always a way to pursue your education. So you always have to stay positive and also no matter what, your education will lead you to your success. Special shout out to my family, mom, dad, my brothers, David and Daniel. Thank you so much for everything, for all the support. And to all the people, all of my friends, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Be sure to stick with our team for more on students right here in the Rio Grande Valley, their accomplishments, their aspirations, and how they're giving back to our Valley community. Well, all right, that's all of our time for now. Thanks again so much for joining us this morning, and be sure to tune in again tomorrow because it's Foodie Friday, and we're breaking down the latest and the greatest when it comes to good eats in the Rio Grande Valley. We'll also dive into the National Month calendar for some more celebrations that we can honor. Plus, we're speaking with another United Healthcare representative about more health tips for us to keep in mind and how their team can help. Don't forget to follow our team on social media for exclusive behind the scenes sneak peeks at what we're filming for the show. All that and so much more tomorrow on Valley Por Vida. We'll see you then.